Hi everybody, Ryan here with Reiki Images and Events. Today we are talking Easy Cover. Is it the brand for you? Let's find out. Do you like to protect your stuff? I know I do. Uh, Easy Cover is a firm out of the Netherlands, and what they create are silicone cases for your DSLRs. It's what they're most famous for. Um, why do you need a silicone case, you ask? Isn't my DSLR weatherproof? It might be, it might not be. Um, we recently went on an excursion to Costa Rica and I noticed while I was walking up and down the beach, sand coming everywhere, firing at my camera, we had something to protect it. Uh, my grip was starting to come off, the glue was getting a little loose on the old D90 beast that we've talked about before here on this channel. Just need some protection for it. I'll show you my camera now. So this is the D90 beast, as you can tell it's got this beautiful black easy cover silicone um, rubber on it. The beautiful thing is what these guys do is they send you, and that's a little dirty, I was just shooting at a nightclub last night, they send you uh, a LCD screen protector, just like your phone, just like your smartphone, LCD screen protector. Excellent idea. Why hasn't anybody else thought of this? Oh, well, maybe they have. Uh, so it's very easy to handle my big test run was last night just to see how it would act in the field. Now, with so many different varieties of cameras out there, um, Easy Cover, they do a great job of handling Canon and Nikon. I think they're just starting to get into more Sony models. Have you ever seen how many models are out there? Their catalog list is huge with all the different models that they have these Easy Covers for. Um, now for my D90, I noticed there were little tiny things like the dials were just like a couple millimeters off. Um, it was a little difficult for the on off button, but that's easy to shave down this little bit right here. That's the only complaint I had. Um, I created this little <laughs> makeshift uh, strap here that you can just toss around your hand and do kind of like a, a Windsor knot around here. And then, you know, if it drops out, fine, whatever. Um, we're going to be looking into this. This is a really cool idea, so that's something for the future. Anyways, if this gets bumped, you know, it's very shock resistant. Uh, what I love about the Easy Cover products is it is definitely, um, you know, covering every nook and cranny. Um, as I've written about before about this particular camera, we had a little mishap, so. There's an area between where the lens and the body mount that's held on by automotive epoxy right now. Hey, it's lasted for, um, I don't know, a couple of years already, so it's probably gonna last its life. Another product they have are these, you've probably noticed this um, little band here. It's another little protective feature for your, for your lens, of course. What I found the best part is, is for a grip, man, is it nice and slick to just hold on to that. Um, maybe it's just me, but I have a tendency to just put a death grip on the on the lens uh, focus ring, and <laughs> so much so that my fingers end up with patterns of them on. So just this little rubber ring with the Easy Cover logo, of course, just makes life so much simpler to focus in and out. Um, so far, yeah, it's a winner. Um, I've <laughs> also bought an Easy Cover silicone body cover for my other camera here that I'm shooting with the D7000 and you know I shot some some footage with it and man it feels so natural so nice um, the big complaints I've heard from people with products like this is that you know it, it'll be more difficult to handle like it's just an extra thing and yeah yeah it does make your camera feel a little heavier um, for things like the cameras that have the extra battery pack on the bottom you're gonna have to cut out some of this part and just with a, a little knife or something just because when when your your secondary battery mounts here this is gonna mess with the connection you're not gonna get that connection so you're gonna have to cut out this silicone it's I don't know what that is a few millimeters thick so it's nothing it's like sixteenth of an inch so nothing major but it is gonna impact when you put on your your battery pack Another thing I ordered was this handy dandy little bump guard <laughs> just on the end of, just goes onto your um, filter ring here. 
So that's all it is. I got my extremely dirty UV filter on there. And now it's probably not gonna line up just because I'm doing this for film. But you just uh, walk across the bed, slip her on, and bam, there you go. Uh, it's rubberized as well, made out of the same silicone. Of course, I chose camo because, you know, why not? It's camo. It's available. <laughs> Just protects against any little bumps. Like, you've already got, I know there's controversy out there. Why are you putting a 10 piece of glass in front of a 2,000 piece of glass? It's my preference. I've seen and had lenses break, and this little $10 piece of glass has saved the lens. So, I use them. This is just a little added protection, plus it looks kind of cool. Um, I've had seen some people say the colored rings like this, uh, more so the yellow ones, they do tend to cast a little bit of a yellow hue, but you know, that's very, very nitpicky stuff. I don't think it's super huge. Um, it's not gonna make a big difference with your shooting and you know, fix it in post. <laughs> Basically that's it, right? Um, the other cool thing about Easy Cover is I'm selling them. So if you want your own silicone DSLR body cover, give me a shout. I'll hook you up. Um, and it's a very inexpensive way to protect your camera. Also, Easy Cover, they have a wide range of bags and lens cases, stuff like that. So that's Easy Cover. Excellent little product, field tested last night, I was out shooting at the club, and it's great. That was one of my biggest things for investing in this uh, easy cover product, because I, I'm often out shooting in the nightclubs, that's, that's my main client right now, and you know, if some jerk decides to spill a drink on my camera or bumps into me, this is going to take the impact. It's not a 100% weather seal, but it is going to take that impact. Now, I'll be posting some uh, images, some footage in the next little while of me getting beat up by a wave in Costa Rica. Essentially, I was on the, the sandbar, whatever, lining up this perfect shot when this wave come flying up and just splash me. <laughs> you know, the old girl survived, lived another day. She's earned her keep so far. Um, something like this on there, it's going to add that extra bit of protection. Um, and <laughs> they are durable. Like it's a it's a big piece of rubber on your on your camera. It's great, um, but for a big piece of rubber, it's not uncomfortable. Um, if anything, there is a little added comfort. Um, you know, I have a tendency I notice to really grip my camera tightly when I'm shooting, and this is just like a, a softer cushion, and it's it's not so tough on the body itself. Um, plus, I'm starting to get a few dings and stuff on this body in particular, and I want to save her up for, for the rest of her life. She's been used and abused, denied and refused, so oh, yeah, easy cover, check them out. Um, thanks for hanging out with us today. Remember to hit that subscribe button, or is it over here, one of the other pages, down here somewhere, hit subscribe. We'll start to produce more content. I know we've been lax lately, but we'll be getting more content out there. Um, you can go to our website as well, and we'll have some information on our exciting new e-magazine, Newell Views. Uh, we also have a few things in the works. We always got something in the works here. So keep checking back. Check us out on Facebook, all the other social media goodies, and we'll see you. Bye for now.